Uh, Mr. Mesterhazy, you are here to try and raise awareness about what is actually going on in Hungary. Can you give us a very quick outline of the main problems as far as what the Hungarian government is doing? Yes, now we are very we are in a very delicate situation in Hungary, and it's a quite unique situation because the current prime minister, the right wing government, has two third majority in the Hungarian parliament. So that's why what you can see in Hungary is that the tyranny of the majority is some kind of uh, parliamentary and dictatorship because with this two third majority they can do whatever they want in the Hungarian parliament, and they uh, did. For example, they changed. Yeah, the Hungarian constitution, just with the two-third majority, without any national consensus. Uh, they changed the election law uh, in their favors, of course. Uh, they rewrite the constituencies in their favors. So they try to do everything to, to build in, to keep their power, uh, not just with the political agenda, but with administrative and legal uh, tools also. And this government launched a non-orthodox revolutionary economic policy, and what you see nowadays is that, uh, that this policy failed, absolutely failed. And now Hungary is uh, much more vulnerable than uh, it was before. From what you've said, the, the international dimension is very important. Can you explain maybe how the Party of European Socialists can help support you to, to bring a stronger democracy back in Hungary? Well, actually, I'm very happy because the, uh, the European Socialist Party uh, was very balanced with the criticism. So they are uh, they, they focus very much on the real issues. Orban, the prime minister, now uh, try to show uh, that uh, he, he he's changing his policy, but this is just a tactical uh, step uh, from his side. Uh, in reality, in Hungary, nothing changed. So that's why the in the f in the future, this kind of uh, cooperation and to to speak out for the Hungarians uh, among the uh, the European socialists are very, very important because uh, Mr. Orban uh, understands that uh, in Hungary he can do whatever he wants in the parliament. But uh, in the international dimension, in the international field, uh, he has to respect uh, the common values and it's very important to, to have some guys and, and comrades uh, who can work together on this issue. But of course, the problem will be solved in Hungary by the Hungarian peoples and, and voters in 2014 because in that year there will be national elections in Hungary, and I'm quite sure uh, then uh, we can beat Mr. Orban with the help of the Hungarians.